A new challenger has entered the LTE ring. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Microsoft is releasing a new flavor of Microsoft Office to go along with the new look of Windows 8. This new office is all about making your documents available wherever you are and on whatever device you're on, whether it's a tablet, smartphone, or of course the desktop. The design is also streamlined with less steps to find what you need. Since you might be using this on a touch screen, they simplified some options. In the new Word, the top ribbon is still there with newly designed flat icons, but if you don't need it, just tap to hide it. In PowerPoint, there's a new presenter view that shows the next slide coming up and touching the screen can turn your finger into a virtual laser pointer. In Excel, to help you make a chart quickly, all you have to do is highlight the data and it'll offer suggestions on what type of chart you should use. Sprint has joined the 4G LTE club. It just launched LTE in 15 cities around Georgia and Texas, as well as Sprint's headquarters in Kansas City. Sprint was the first to launch a 4G network back in 2008, but it was using WiMAX, and now it's playing catch up to Verizon and AT&T, who use the superior LTE network technology. More areas will come in the second half of the year. It already has four smartphones that can tap into 4G LTE, including the Galaxy S3. The 16-year-old Microsoft and NBC Online partnership is officially over. Microsoft is out of MSNBC. NBC paid for the full control of the website and renamed it NBCNews.com. Microsoft is building MSN.com into its own portal for news, much like Yahoo and AOL. LinkedIn just got a bit more like Facebook. You can click like and comment on any article posted from someone in your network. It's part of LinkedIn's efforts to redesign the site as an everyday tool rather than something you just log into when you want to make a resume change or add a new contact. Google's Nexus 7 tablet began shipping pre-orders on Friday, but if you want one, expect to wait a few weeks. It's listed as sold out and on back order at many retailers. So if you need a Windows phone right now, you can get the flagship Nokia Lumia 900 for just 50 bucks. AT&T lowered the price, but that's because it'll soon be outdated when the new Windows 8 phones come out this fall, so if you can, you're going to want to wait. It's looking like Apple may be launching its new Mountain Lion operating system next week on July 25th. The website 9to5Mac reports that some Apple employees will be working overnight the day before, and that usually means they'll be setting up for something new in the store. When it comes out, the Mountain Lion upgrade can be downloaded for 20 bucks. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, visit CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.